Today, we're going to look at which is the better program for stabilizing your footage, DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. In order to stabilize footage in DaVinci Resolve, what you have to do is, well, first we'll select the footage, and then what we'll do is choose one of the drop-down options, and once we do, we'll go ahead and click on Stabilize. Now, each one of those settings does something different. In Premiere Pro, we'll go to our effects section, we'll look up Warp Stabilizer, we'll apply that to our footage, and then from there, we'll sort of analyze which one that we need. The default option is Subspace Warp, but of course, we can go ahead and adjust that, and we can also adjust the intensity. Now, the two options that we want to adjust in the Warp Stabilizer are the Smoothness option, and then if we go down to Advanced, there's an option that says crop less or smooth more. And that translates really equally over to what we have over in DaVinci Resolve. The two options that we have in DaVinci Resolve that translate over from what we have in Premiere Pro are the cropping ratio and the smoothness. Now in Premiere Pro, we have four things that we can choose from. We have the warp stabilizer, which actually takes the footage and, and pretty much stabilizes it pretty well. But what it has to do is warp the edges, which is where the name comes in. Then you have position, and then you have position scale rotation, and then you have perspective. The footage that we're going to use for this tutorial is going to be something that's going to give both programs a hard time. The first one is footage of a cat, and in the beginning it racks focus to the cat. Not only that, it's looking through a fence and the cat ends up moving. So that's going to be a little bit difficult for both of them to try to take care of and try to stabilize. The second piece of footage is someone driving in a car, and that may make things a little bit more difficult because the software is trying to determine what to stabilize, and if the background keeps changing, that may make things a little bit hotter. Now the first thing that we're going to do is look at different options that we have within Premiere Pro, because you don't only have to use the default option when you're using the Warp Stabilizer. So what I'll do is run through some footage, and you can let me know which one of those looks the most stable. And I'll run through it a second time, that way you can get a good look at the footage, and then I'll reveal which is which. Now just to make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is focus on different parts of the footage. So what I'll do is focus on the corner over here and that may help you decide which one is a little better at stabilizing the footage. And then I'll choose a different part of the scene and do the same thing and maybe you guys can make your final decision. So here we're going to look at the car footage and the same thing. This is all in Premiere Pro, but it's using four different options. So we'll run through the footage, I'll focus on different parts of the footage, and then you can decide which one does the best job, and then I'll reveal which one does the best job at the end. And this might have a different result than the cat footage, only because it's a different type of footage. It's not trying to focus or it's not trying to shoot through something, it's actually footage that's moving along so you have the parallax between the car and the background.
Now we're going to be doing the same thing with the same two pieces of footage, but we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve and the different options that it has. So I ended up determining which was the better result from each program. And what I'll do is put those side by side. Now the first thing that you'll notice when we come to the car footage is that the Premiere Pro footage is actually more zoomed in. So it actually had to crop a little bit more. Having said that, that doesn't necessarily mean that the Resolve footage is better or the Resolve program is better at stabilizing the footage. It may crop less, but it may not stabilize the footage as well. And then we'll do the same with the cat footage. We'll look at both programs, the best results from each, and you can determine which one looks better to you. And then of course I'll reveal which one is which program. So at the end of the day, what does this mean? Which program is better? And I know, unfortunately, it's going to come down to one of those answers where it depends. Uh, each program does a fantastic job. You can get very similar results with both. You just have to be comfortable with which program does what. For a lot of people, Resolve actually may be better only because the options are all grouped together. Uh, there's less to choose from as far as different options compared to Premiere Pro. If you are able to dive into the settings and figure all those things out, you'll be able to get through on Premiere Pro. A lot of the times, people will apply the warp stabilizer effect and just leave it alone. But of course, you want to change the percentage. You want to do a bunch of things to get that to work and not forget about the advanced settings. But for someone just diving in, I think in this case it's going to be DaVinci Resolve that's going to give you the best result. You can choose one of the three options and then from there you can adjust one of two settings and that pretty much will get you where you want to be. Now this was a straightforward tutorial. I know we didn't dive too deep into this program. If you guys are interested in looking at particular footage and determining what approach you would take to stabilize that footage, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanted to send me a link to some footage that I could download, either by Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that, in the description below, I'll put an email address that you can send that to. And maybe, and of course I'll credit it, maybe I'll use that footage in an upcoming tutorial. So like I said, I didn't want to keep this too long. I just wanted to show you guys what the options were, which program is better or more efficient. But if you really want to dive deep into this kind of stuff, let me know and I'll come up with a new tutorial very soon. And I'll also link to another tutorial I did where if you're using a shot and you're sort of panning and moving things around, how you can go about stabilizing that shot. If you just put on Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro, for example, the footage is going to be analyzed, including that movement, so it may mess up the results that you get. So thanks guys for watching. If you like what you saw here and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. 
If you have any suggestions or something that you want to see, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment in the description below. Maybe it will be my next video. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out on Instagram. All the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys soon.